Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 22. Can you believe that? Uh, a few more days and it'll be Christmas before we know it. But anyway, um, I just got home not too long ago again. <laughs> I have been gone, going somewhere every day for I don't know how many days now. And so, <laughs> but anyway, I uh, got home a little late. So I went in and changed my clothes and I'm ready to go do my chores as soon as I'm done with this. But I'm actually going to do a, a, a happy mail a video right after this one but anyway i want to get up here and share with you guys what i have for today and i do have one project but i have been so busy i just haven't gotten a chance to really make anything else besides what i just made <laughs> i want to fix my chair here i feel like i'm a little crooked okay that's better <laughs> but anyway the first uh, thing i want to share with you it is a washcloth which i'm going to use it as a dishcloth and it's by Sarah Sash, and it is a corner-to-corner -corner one. And I love doing corner-to-corner, -corner and because they work up really fast. And here it is. I did it in Christmas colors. I actually have it with me because I thought I couldn't remember the name. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to remember the name of it, but it's Peaches and Cream, and it's 100% cotton, and it is called Yuletide. And so I wanted to make one for Christmas you know to use around christmas time <laughs> so i'm planning on making another one hopefully i'll have enough time to uh, sit down and, and work up another one but it didn't take very long to do this and i can't remember what size of hook it might have been a, a a five millimeter but i'll put a link down below because she does have a video tutorial on it and i do believe she has a free pattern for it on her blog but i just uh watched the uh, video tutorial on it just to kind of refresh myself because it's been a while since i've done a corner to corner and once I got started, I, and then it brought, it came to me. <laughs> but I still sit there and listen to her because I love uh, having Sarah keep me company while I'm crocheting. <laughs> but anyway, I think it worked up really pretty. And it is a good size one too, and I like the bigger ones. So that's what the project for today is. Okay, now the next one is going to be the scrappy blanket. And I'm anxious to see what color we have in here today. Let me show it to you first. I'm getting ahead of the game here. It's kind of cold out here. I thought it was going to be a little nicer now. Actually, Christmas Day, I think. Christmas Eve, they said it was going to be in the 60s. Christmas Day, I believe they said it's going to be 78. It just won't feel like Christmas. <laughs> oh, but I'll take that warmer weather. I've been cold a lot here lately. Okay. Here's how it's looking so far. And I did... I forgot to sew this one in, but I did sew in the rest of the end. So this is how it's looking, and look how pretty it is. Oh, I love this so much. Now, last night, I sat there and put in the mainstay, mainstay orange, and the other is a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn, and I think I've lost the ball band already. But it's like a mauve, and it's got like a pink color in there with it. I'm thinking it's called Cranberry, I think. But anyway, I think it's looking so pretty. And this is a pattern by Jada and Stitches, and uh, she does have a video tutorial on it if you would like to make you a, a scrappy blanket using the half double crochet. And um, it calls to use a, I believe it's a six millimeter hooks, what I'm using. And it is growing, and it's filling up the bag, my big old bag there that I got pretty good. <laughs> I don't know why I'm folding it up, because I'm going to show you guys again here in a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can hear the squirrels are fighting back there. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's see. We have well, we have a ball and a skein. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can pull it out without pulling the other one out. Oh, that's that beautiful mainstay uh, teal. I love this so much. And I actually looked at Walmart the other day. Cause I thought I'd pick me up a couple of skeins of it because eventually I want to do nothing but a scrappy you know blanket with nothing but the glitter yarn in it one of these days is what I'm planning on doing after I gather up a bunch of uh, sparkled yarn <laughs> but they didn't have any they were out they had that taupe color so but anyway this is that that beautiful color I really love on it so all right, that'll be pretty up against the orange and that pink. And there we have blue right there. So, 
This is kind of a green color though, isn't it? Greenish blue. Okay, let's see what other color we have to mix with it there. Oh yeah, white. That'll be really pretty up against that. Now that'll make it pop. That'll look real good up against that. So, I'll sit in there tonight and I'll watch some YouTube while I work on it. So, it's really coming along too. I really love it. Can't wait for it to get to the size I need for it to be. I'm not quite sure how big I'm going to make it, but I'm just going to work on to it, work on it, even if it's after Vlogmas, and get it to the size I want, and then show you guys. Okay, I'm going to put this back in my bag, and then I guess I'm going to hop off here, and then tonight, um, after I get through doing the chores and settle down for the evening, I'm going to uh, share with you guys the ornament of the day for the trees, so I'll be seeing you guys here real soon. All right, guys, it's still Vlogmas Day 22, and I want to get up here and share with you the ornament of the day for the tree, and so I decided to make another snowman. <laughs> now, this one is by a website, and it's called Yarnhild, and it is free on their blog, and I, when I saw him, I just thought he was the cutest thing, and I wanted to add him to the tree. Now, I ended up and his name is actually Edward Frostbite. <laughs> is that not cute? <laughs> so I ended up using my 3.2 millimeter hook. And then I made him out of uh, mainstay white, mainstay uh, teal. And that's actually the color I'm going to be putting in my scrappy blanket tonight. Mainstay orange for his nose. Mainstay black for his eyes and his little smile. And this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in taupe for his little arms. And this is Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. And I think it's called Mistletoe. And then for these little buttons, I use real buttons. Now, and these are those buttons that my friend Ain gave me in that little container. Because when I was a kid growing up, we always uh, used buttons, you know, for the eyes and right here. But I didn't have the right size of uh, buttons for his eyes that were black because I wanted to use black. They were either too small or too big. So I need to looking to get me some that are like medium size i guess <laughs> and then he's got his little scarf by which i think is so cute but anyway i'll put a link down below if you want to make you a, a little snowman like this for your tree okay i'll stick him over here somewhere i got i'll put him right here underneath my ornament i got from olive i don't know if you can see it it's so cute the little bitty thing and then this is the one from valerie and then here's my snowflake from julie I got my little green inch and my snowman here from Ann, my friend Ann. So cute. <laughs> it's getting full. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing I'm wanting to share with you real quick are those two scrappy blankets that I've talked about and I keep forgetting. So, tonight, I'm going to show you what one of them, well, I'll show you both of them. Let me scoot old Santa over. You can see where my kitty cats have uh, messed with my shade. <laughs> kind of messed it up. <laughs> But anyway, now this is the one, I did this one as a granny stitch, and you can find them all over the internet doing how to do a granny stitch blanket, because I really, I can't remember who I watched, uh, you know, to do this one. It might have been Claire. It used to be uh, Bob Wilson123, and I cannot think of the name of her channel now. Um, oh, I don't know. I'll put a link down below where you can find it. If that's where I got it, I really can't remember, but it's just a granny stitch blanket. But I did it with the main color being white, and then I just had some scrap balls, and I just went through it and did it like that. And I think it turned out really pretty. I love this. And so I have it all folded up and have it over there on my quilt rack with one of my quilts by the door. So, okay, I'll fold it back up here in a minute. Now, the other one I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to insert a picture to to show you what I was talking about. Now, this one is my first very, my very first, I'm tired, <laughs> my very first uh, half double crochet scrappy blanket, blanket besides that baby blanket I was telling you about before, blanket I've ever made. Now, this one came out super crooked, <laughs> but that's okay. Like I said, it's still very well loved, and it's really heavy. And I, it's the same one that I'm doing now, but, but like I said, it's crooked. 
I think I added too many stitches on one end is what I'm thinking. I'm guessing that's what it is. But anyway, here's what it looks like. Now, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like all stretched out. But anyway, I think it's so pretty. And this was my very first one of a full-size blanket that I ever made. And I love it. I think it's so pretty. And like I said, it's very well loved. I've washed it several times. And so it's held up pretty good. <laughs> and so good way to bust through all your scraps that you got. And that's what I did with this one. Had a bunch of them. But anyway, that's it. But anyway, I'm going to hop off here. And I'm going to go work on my scrappy blanket. And put my three rows in. And then I'm probably going to turn in early tonight. Because I am extremely tired. I have been going non-stop. Going somewhere every day. Going to be going somewhere again tomorrow. <laughs> and so, anyway, I need to get me some sleep. Anyhow, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed night. And I'll see you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 23. <laughs>